Okay, my family. Today I have a prayer for all of our brethren out there, all of our family members who are suffering with attacks from the adversary. Be it in their health, their finances, or spiritually. Father, we come before you, sanctified and washed clean by the blood of our risen King and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask to be led by your Holy Spirit and pray your will be done in your perfect timing. We come together as one body, united by our love of Jesus Christ, who is the head of our body. We lift up our brethren who are suffering with attacks from our adversary, and we cancel all assignments against them and their family members. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. We break the chains that the enemy has ensnared us with, our sword of truth activated by the word of God. For it is written, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And if God be for me, who can be against me? Glory to God in the highest, and praise his holy name, for he has equipped us and given us authority to trample upon the serpents and scorpions sent our way, and he has made us more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We lift up our brethren and speak healing, peace, and provision upon their homes and family, the peace that only you can give us, Jesus. We speak restoration upon them for what the cankerworm and locusts have taken from them. Your victory over the enemy in all things was won at the cross, and we thank you for paying our debt a debt we can never repay, and we claim our body, the body of Christ, to be healed by your stripes, for we are one in spur spirit and body, united by our risen King. We thank you for never leaving us or forsaking us, and for being our strength when we are weak. We pray for our brethren to come together in prayer and faith, as we know when we pray together as one, we can break strongholds and move mountains that are hindering our walk with you. We humbly pray that you would hear our prayers and fill us to overflowing with your everlasting water and the word of God and imprint it upon the table of our hearts and mind. And may the word of God further dwell, forever dwell within us in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. Remember, as written in Romans 8 and 32, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? In Philippians 4 and 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In 1 John 5, 14 and 15. And this is the confidence we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whosoever, whatsoever we ask, we know that we will have the petitions that we desired of him. Matthew twenty five thirty five through 40 For when I was hungered, you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when did we do these things? When did we do these things for you? And the king shall answer, saying unto them, Verily I say unto you, and so much as you have done it unto the least of my brethren, you have done it unto me. Glory to God in the highest. For he alone is worthy of praise. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over any and all to cover you and your families who are led to listen to this audio message. And I ask for you to pray for our brethren out there who are needing help right now. And if you feel led, I will have a PayPal there where you can donate. Um, one of our brethren is um, it has some bills do and is not has no money to eat for the rest of this week um i want to make sure that you know people can at least eat and um i have another one who had a uh, whose uh, car is in the shop but they cannot pay the repair bill um if you are feel led by the spirit to donate i will make sure that um they go to either one or the other you can specify inside of your inside of a message inside of your PayPal 
or you can uh, I can just divide it in half is what I was going to do and make sure that each one gets taken care of um, I had a time of need last year and I was overwhelmed by the generosity that you all had and um, I have since then distributed to others who were needing and um, I just want to make sure that our brethren are taken care of and for all of you who cannot donate at this time just give some time in prayer and just agree with this prayer for me for them so we can break through whatever it is that is keeping them from being restored because together our prayers move God God bless you all my brethren in Jesus Christ's most holy 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 name Amen